Grant, it's raining. Hey! <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a very long overdue video on the channel. I can't believe, once again, it's been almost exactly 30 days since my last video on Memorial Day weekend. Uh, last, uh, like, nine, 10 days here have been kind of weird. We've gotten a metric shit ton of rain. We're currently actually getting rained on right now. It's Tuesday. I had my clients for this morning uh, want to reschedule their trip because it was raining, and what do you think? It was not raining. So, therefore, I decided to uh, come out here today, try and make a video. There's, like, not a single soul on the lake this Besides us, so I grabbed Grant, got out here. We're just gonna get spit on, on and off, probably throughout the afternoon, but gonna try and show you guys a bunch of different stuff. We're just gonna do the same thing, run bottom bouncers with night crawlers, run just slow death, pull some crankbaits. As you can see, it's not a very crankbaity kind of day, but we're still gonna probably try it anyway. One other thing, uh, hopefully by the time you guys see this video, we will have hit 15,000 subscribers. And for a guy that posts a video like once every month, especially during my busy guide season, I uh, can't thank you enough. Sorry, I've been kind of idle, but if you guys do follow me on social media, you will know that I am a full-time fishing guide. It is summertime, running a lot of two-a-day trips, so uh, life's kind of busy and crazy. Anyway, with that said, uh, we're just going to try and get set up. We're just on a big hump right here out on the main lake with some rocks on it. I have no idea what to expect. The water temp is 76, which is where it's been for about the last five or six days. We've actually just been railing on the walleye and sauger, like, I mean, just unreal bite this last, like, month and a half, but within this last week, it has been kind of tough. Water temp dropped nine or ten degrees uh, with our first cold rain that we had last week and now the water levels are on the rise too so things are just kind of weird like i said it's been a little bit tough but uh thank you guys so much for tuning into this one hopefully we can put a couple fish in the boat i don't know if we're gonna keep any but yeah i don't know let's just see what happens i've got a brand new clam net the forta series to break in that i got from those guys uh and i think that's really about it so let's get these rods rigged up kind of show you what we're doing how we're doing it and see if we can't put a couple fish in the boat all right, so things have changed a little bit since the last bottom bouncing video that you guys saw me do. Uh, I have converted everything to Fox River rods, obviously, like I obviously would. Uh, all these bottom bouncer rods are the Fox River 7 foot 10 medium heavy trolling rods. Super good bend in them, um, good parabolic action, which is exactly what you want for running bottom bouncers. So when the fish hit, they don't feel it right away. We've just got these on 15 size uh, line counter reels, but running it like you guys have seen before to a one and a half ounce bottom bouncer, 48 inch lead. Uh, we're gonna do two spinners and two regular slow death hooks and just kind of see what they want because they've been kind of weird. A little bit funky, so we'll see if they want the spinners or if they just want the plain hook, but I'll uh, get these rigged up with night crawlers, kind of show you the piece of structure that we're on and uh, speeds and everything. If you guys haven't seen that first bottom bouncer video, I will link that uh, down below or somewhere up top. But I have several on my channel, so I will get those linked. But yeah, this is a number two size slow death hook here, a Mustad slow death hook. You guys can see it's all bent, but when you put a uh, half a night crawler on that, it just causes the whole rig to spin real slow. So uh, this one, I have a little bit longer leads on uh, just in case the fish are spooky. 12 pound fluorocarbon leader to the bottom bouncer. It's pretty complicated and pretty simple at the same time. There's a lot of moving parts to this rig. So we're just gonna run all four rods. We're gonna run one spinner and one slow death hook off the back and uh, one spinner and one slow death hook off the front. Thank you, deckhand. Just thread that puppy on there. Pull it up over the knot. And that's exactly what you want. We're good. We're dialed, we're ready to start fishing. Just kind of hanging off the spot. I'm only gonna run one camera for this, um, trying to preserve a little bit of backgrounds, but um, also it's still kind of sprinkling, so I only wanna have to babysit one. But yeah, we'll get going here. Get the back rods off first. Where's my remote? But yeah, we're sitting in 15 just off the spot. Gonna be crawling up to like five. <coughs> Don't wanna blow over it immediately, but that's where they live. So with no chop, super calm water, we're probably gonna keep the uh, speed right around 0 0.8, 0 0.9, maybe one, especially when we go shallower. But that is the key to this game, this speed. So again, you just wanna drop your bouncers down till they hit bottom, give it one or two extra feet, done. 
Do the back one, same thing. Watch the spool, hit bottom. Done. Line at a 45 degree angle. Just let that tip kind of ride and ride and ride. And when a walleye hits it, that rod's just gonna slowly bend over. You're gonna wait a second. And there's gonna be a walleye in the new clam. The new clam Forta series. Put away my Frable Conservation Series net to try this guy out and uh, it's pretty sweet. Put a couple walleyes in it so far. Shit the fuck. That's a fish, Grant. Get him. <clears throat> Grant is on. I'm snagged. Dude, I got a fish. Wait, I have some. What's going on? I think you're snagged. I am. Okay, now I'm snagged. You got a fish, though? Yeah. Oh my Look god. Oh my Holy God. shit, we should have gotten the net. Oh. Unreal. I bet you haven't had one of these in a clam yet. Wow. That's beautiful. Wall hanger if I've ever seen it. Cool. Let's just get a replica. Yeah. Not catch and release to the grease. Damn bottom bouncer pit crew. Okay, now we need a beer. Old Man River's gonna piss me off, I already know it. Grab beers, would you? They're up by you. If we stop focusing on the fishing rods, something will happen. Like this one? Yeah, like this one. Yeah, that's him. Keep pressure and just hit him. Got him. First pass. Yeah, it's a good one. You betcha. Ooh. Oh, yeah, buddy. There you go. Nice. On the purple blade, huh? I'll let you get him here. How long have we been here? Like 20 seconds? Yeah, literally. I didn't even get a ton uh -uh. chance to get that beer. You were talking about. Right? Yeah. Is that 17? Grant, there's another one on this one. Watch out. Oh, he dropped it. As soon as I picked it up, he dropped it. Let's see if he comes back. Light. Damn, he was leaning on it good too. That's a good sign though. There you go. Nice. You want to keep any? Yeah. You got any? Yeah, yeah, we got um, friends coming in from Colorado this weekend. Nice. So. I think it's fish talking. Okay. With the lessons. All right, first bite on the purple blade. Had one on the other rod and came off. So now it's starting to rain pretty good. Perfect. It's on fire. <laughs> Like this blue like cat? This blue cat right here. <laughs> Grandpa's over trying to talk to me. Little baby blue cat. Oof, Grant's on. Grant's on again. Yep. It's a feel. Yeah. Yep. That's on the regular slow death hook too. No blade. That's the one that spit it out. It's the one I wanted. Ooh, this is where they come off. Got him, buddy. Look it, just popped off. I don't know. We'll put him on the... I'll bump him real quick while you get that situated. Oh, there's one. We got a double. Oh, I lost him. <laughs> well, I can't hold a fish. Set it with my left hand. He's gonna be 14 and a half, guaranteed. Oof. He is literally 15 on the 
white tip of his little tail. Perfect eater. Two passes, two fish. Three, four bites. Nice, okay. Now we're gonna have to turn around and deal with you know who. Don't net two fish back to back next to that guy. You will regret it. Here we go, Grant. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <clears throat> oh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Finally, one for the back. Pinky. <clears throat> Pinky. Right in the corner of the mouth, barely skin hooked. Yeah. Oh, he's big enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> cool. Now what's grandpa gonna do? He's gonna cut right back where we netted that fish and plant himself right there. <laughs> You just rip one right here. Yep. I'm gonna let you guys have this rainy area. That's a good one, hey? <clears throat> oh yeah, look at those head shakes. Another one, Grant. I have a fish on. Got one. Are you available? <laughs> <laughs> well, before he comes off. I don't know. I might have to just uh. Can't I can't boat flip him? No, I know. I got my rod for my line still in here, so. Yep. Make it happen. I'll give him to you. Oh yeah. You bet. What an absolute circus. You think they'll go away now? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Promise. Was that five? That's Four? Five. Five? What did I just say? When we were about to go through that, I was like, we should stick a double yeah, right now, or we should stick one right now. I don't feel like dealing with Jethro and his brother anymore. And their trash bag outfits. <clears throat> There's one. Grant. Yep. That's him. Looking more promising on the new spot. We had to get away from the boat traffic. It was too insane. It's him. Oh yeah, Mr. White Tip. Number six. Ding, ding, dong. Ding. First pass on the new spot. Zero pressure. Eating some damn fine beef jerky from South Dakota. And Grant's got a 15er. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Dandy. Nice and. Oh, there's another one. Here. That's probably a drum. Here, I'll grab the fish. You got the fish. <laughs> Grant and his drum. Drummer. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, oh Mr. Bluegill. We're on an offshore bluegill bite, folks. Yeah. All right, let me pop this guy in the box. Get the other one back out. Cool. Putting some fish in the new clam. We love clams. <coughs> Did 
fishy. <clears throat> yeah, whatever it is, it's big. I think it's a drum though. He's doing funny things. I don't know, he's acting like a walleye now. Oh, now he's acting like a drum. Oh, Flatty! Flatty McFlatterson! You don't want that no! We do not need flathead slime in the new slime. net, but it's better than a drum. I'm gonna see if I can grab him. Oh, there's a fish on that one. That's a walleye. We'll let Mr. Flathead hang. You got him? Yeah, but it's a small one. Small? Oh God, a bluegill. What the Christ? <laughs> anyway, let me show you this dirty old flathead here. They're usually pretty cool looking uh, when they're small like this, but this one's like kind of light colored and sick. There's a fish on that port side front rod. <laughs> Ooh. Yay. Bye. We're on the trash fish pass. Oh boy. Yeah. No way. Can't believe it. We haven't caught any of those. On. Right in front of Jethro, just circling the spot. Picked up the spinning rod with the jig and wrap because I've caught him here before doing it. Feels like a walleye. Definitely a walleye. I don't know how big he is though. He's kind of small. Oh, it's a nice one, Grant. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, he's so barely hooked too. You freaking betcha. On the J-Wrap on my favorite Fox River 7.3 medium light rod. Oof. I got him. Ooh. All right. Don't got him. Don't got him. We're gonna mess around and have a two-man limit of walleyes here. Man. But yeah, we're just fishing another high spot with some rocks scattered on it. And that guy hit on the first or second rip. Sweet. Well, that's not too shabby for a couple hours of uh, rainy fishing. Of course, as soon as we're gonna leave here, uh, the sun comes out. But yeah, like I said, had that uh, reschedule this morning because my customers didn't want to fish in the rain. It barely even rained, so me and Grant went out and uh, railed on them. We got eight nice keepers, so that'll make a nice meal. But yeah, I mean, primary presentation today was obviously bottom bouncing night crawlers on spinners and just uh, regular slow death hooks. Then after that, picked up a uh, jig and wrap and caught that last keeper on a jig and wrap. So yeah, hopefully by the time you guys see this video, we will have hit 15,000 subscribers. So can't thank you guys enough for that for a guy that barely posts any videos because I'm so busy guiding. As far as the rest of my summer goes, uh, it's obviously going to be super crazy. We've got a couple of vacations planned too. Right now, my schedule is booked out until August. I've, I have no weekends left in August. I only have uh, select weekdays. So if you guys are interested in booking a trip, hit the link down below. It's got a link to my website and also the link to my availability calendar. So yeah, that's about all we've got for you today. Grant, thanks for coming along. Hey, you bet. 
good times. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully there will be a video sooner than later, but no guarantees. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next one.